Hey guys, what's up? Popeless Dragon here with another video. Today I will be doing a deck profile on my Stars Assault mode. Um, we got the new card, um, a bolt. It was a bolt from the blue, but now it's like a bolt from the wild or a wild monster appears or something like that. Uh, I want to get to it, I'll show you, but uh, yeah. For monsters, we're running triple Stars Assault mode. Um, the main card you're going to be going into for the deck. Uh, I can negate a spell trap or monster effect, and uh, when it dies, you can push some a stardust from your graveyard. So, pretty decent. And triple Rose Warrior of Revenge. Uh, we pretty much just use her because she's a level 4 warrior tuner, so you can search her with Rhoda. And then triple Vylon Prison, just because another level 4 tuner, and um, when she's for Synchro Summon, you can pay a thousand to equip to a monster. And during damage stuff, that monster can gain a thousand attack. So, pretty decent. And then triple Goblinberg, just because it helps us get into our, well, stars assault mode pretty much. Because uh, you can use him, you can bring out one of your tuners, and synchro right up for a level 8. And two assault beasts, just helps us search for our assault mode activate a bit quicker. Two ten goldfish, pretty much the same thing as Goblinberg. This helps us uh, synchro quicker. Summoner Monk, same thing. Uh, one Assault Mercenary. I'm trying this out in here just because uh, you can return a soul mode activate from your hand or graveyard. So you can use it for graveyard, then uh, pop a spell or trap. So just to recycle my soul mode activate in case I have to, and decent attack and search for white rota. Then one bear just to finish off the monster lineup. Just since I'm running triple tanky and just in case I don't want all of them clogging my field. <laughs> so yeah, triple tanky. Then search your assault beast or bear. Triple rota, because there's a lot of different targets for this. <laughs> and triple upstart, add some draw power to the deck. Double mystical, a little bit of macro hate. Yeah, and here's the new card, a wild monster appears. So let's see if I can focus on that. Yeah, pretty much if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon from your hand one monster whose original level is 10 or lower, that can be normal summoner set, that cannot be normal summoner set. Uh, ignoring the summoning condition, then it's unaffected by the effects of your cards, except for its own effect, and this card is also shuffled into the deck during your opponent's next end phase. For the rest of this turn, you cannot normal summoner set or special summon monsters when you take, when your opponent takes no further damage. Um, from reading the card, it kind of sounds so-so, but, um, I can use it, so if I, for some reason, which happens pretty often with me, get Stars Assault Mode in hand, to just get it out of my hand and uh, hopefully my opponent activates something, I can distribute it and then start bringing it right back. Yeah, or if not, I can just shuffle back into the deck so I don't have it in hand. Um, I might throw in another one of these if I pick up another, but uh, for the moment I don't have one, so I'm testing it out and I'm liking it so far. And one Soul Charge, just because it's good for instant synchro or exceed. One snatch steal just because uh, it's pretty decent in here since you're running tuners. Then triple assault mode activate. So make sure you can activate your stuff and go off. Double D prison for a little bit of protection. And one bottomless for a little bit of extra protection. So that is it for the main deck. to the extra. We are running triple Stardust Dragon. Let's make sure we can get out our Star Assault mode as quickly as possible. Yes, there are different sleeves on here just because uh, I haven't been different things and didn't feel like switching over all the sleeves. Uh, one hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend, just a big beater and can pop all attack position monsters. Blader, that's for any of this high level stuff. High level stuff. Uh, scrap Dragon for popping things. Colossal Fighter, just because he can bring himself back. You want a decent amount of warriors in here. And uh, yeah, pretty much just big beater that can revive if they have something that can beat over it. Uh, Thought Ruler, since it's good against Burning Abyss. And can gain some life. And one Star of Spark, just because it's kind of better than Star at the moment. But uh, yeah, still run it because we can make eights in here and uh, it's Star's deck. <laughs> Then one Karen Gorgon just before, so I like how he can uh, change targeting. 
one dragon to zero, get some that boosted, pop it, draw. Queen dragon to chin, bring back your stars, whatever, activate assault mode, activate. Pretty decent in here. 101 for sucking up stuff, Castell returning with flipping, and Exiton for that field wipe. So yeah, there was my Stars Assault Mode deck, I thank you all for watching, see you guys later.